Good morning, folks. We've got a number of cool items to hit today. We'll do some more weather learning with the wind maps, and we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, spaceweathernews.com. The primary feature and only geo-effective space weather maker at the moment is the central coronal hole. Its fast solar wind is on its way to Earth for a weekend arrival. One minor filament eruption on the Earth-facing disk, but it did leave sideways and is too small for concern if it hadn't. While we await a coronal hole stream this weekend, we are already in one. The elevated plasma stream should begin to wane today before the next one arrives, taking the geomagnetic conditions back down to the floor tonight and tomorrow. Let's go to the wind maps. Remember that in the low cells, the blue and purple, the air sucks in and then gets shot upward through the column. In red, high pressure, the air is descending from above and spreading out as it hits the surface. The wind flows and the global electric circuit flows do match, and today we'll see why that matters for storms. Looking here, we see the highs and the lows, but look at this line where the wind seems to be colliding, a convergence line. Not only is that a mix of differing temperatures, moistures, and pressures which do equalize at the collision and release energy for storms, but the global circuit flow is right through those areas. It's where we find those long, thin storms. Let's see another one here where a powerful low appears connected to a tropical system to its south with a convergence line amplified by the high cell to their east. No surprise to see the convergence line lit up here again. This is also how storms work in the continental U.S., where it's not the low cell itself, but the convergence line swinging southward from it that brings the severe threats. I say next we go out to space and find a star eager to get in the chemistry lab. The star is not only a supermarket of prebiotic and organic molecules, but it's found way out at the edge of the galaxy, where the environments were thought to be much more primordial and less complex. Sentinel-6 began releasing high-resolution data yesterday. The field is readying to begin their winter work on the data, and you can read about it and watch their informational video at the Sentinel link to the ESA article in today's list. Hard science to close here, starting with the microparticles released in a microgravity chamber, and then had an electric field applied. While normal, random, chaotic fluid dynamics pushes the particles around at first, the application of the electric field causes quite the bunching and lining up. This also works on the intergalactic scale of filaments in the cosmic web and in the atmosphere when the global electric circuit is activated. Speaking of cosmology, the only way these scientists can make this galaxy work is if there's either no dark matter or such a sparse halo that it is improbable within that realm of physics. Ones like that always make us smile. Rounding the corner to the new beginnings of light and solar physics, three NASA scientists here attempting to begin changing the paradigm of solar energy storage and release. We see them favoring the ubiquitous current sheet idea, which is a function of the electric current-driven activity model, rather than convection. And last but not least, folks, we've already been able to show how nova progenitors are much more diverse than they thought just a few years ago, and today it's the implication that they indeed actually have it much more incorrect than we've implied. Even the ones they say are standard dwarf progenitors to this day fall prey to this erroneous analysis model. More stars can trigger nova than they've realized. We greatly appreciate your support. If you didn't hear, we're taking this weekend off to decompress from the last decade of not missing a show. The store closes for the holidays tomorrow, so please get in those orders now. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.